The Niners might be waiting for Watson. The Watson might be waiting for the Niners. Colts didn't wait. They get Wentz. Uh, the Niners have a corresponding move the next day, promote Adam Peters, and then three days later, they make the one big move of the offseason. They give River Craycraft a one-year extension. They uh, also announced this one. There's pictures on their website. They're very proud. River Craycraft was an undrafted guy that they signed off of someone's practice squad and essentially took Dante Pettis' spot on the roster, and um, he's coming back next year. He is. He signed his contract with a big – uh, feather pen, uh, quill. It was. They made a big deal out of it. What do you think of this move? I think he has a really good name. Oh, River his Pen- whole family has great names. His brothers and sisters have great names. His parents, I think, are both named Taylor. So they got a whole sense of humor there. Okay. Also, remember River Phoenix, that wonderful actor. Yes. Kind of like that. Me, he died. Kind of like that. Yeah. But yeah. So it's a, it's a strong name. Is it? <laughs> it's a strong name. Is he handsome? Yeah, why, yeah, absolutely. Why not? Okay, so he's got a good name. He's handsome. Now, yeah. I saw him play, you know, and he yeah. struck me as – I'm going to tell you what – I didn't think he was bad. He struck me as serviceable. Yeah. But he didn't strike me as someone who's going to light up the field. No, he strikes me as the kind of guy who tries harder than Dante Pettis. You know, just gives better effort, uh, maybe likes football more. And when he plays on the field, he runs – pretty fast and he runs good routes and if the ball goes to him he'll probably drop it other than that he's pretty good but to me it's like kyle is had took such a stance against dante pettis and decided you suck you suck so bad that we're going to wave you and replace you with this river craycraft guy who you know went to washington state while you were at washington who went to some high school down the street from you when you were tearing it up in orange county some guy who you've always thought you were better than i'm going to tell you that you're worse than and he's going to take your spot and i think kyle is now committed because Dante Pettis got picked up immediately by the Giants and may have a future, and Kyle needs to prove that he's right on this one. So, River, you're sticking around, and you're going to get some passes. Well, a, a, a couple of things I want to say. One is, so you're telling me the Colts got Carson Wentz, uh-huh. and the Niners extended River Craycraft. That's right. I, somehow I don't see it as even. You know what I mean? That's I, right. I don't see the balance there. And the other thing is this. <laughs> we need to remind our viewers. Kyle it, it, it has a big ego. Yeah. And he likes to prove himself right. Right. That's why McGlinchey is there. Right. Because McGlinchey can't play. No. But from Kyle's point of view, he can play. Right. He even told you they yes. need to move over again. Yes. And he he's such a big ego. He can't admit, you know, maybe that guy didn't work out. Yeah. So now he'll he'll invest his ego into River Craycraft and maybe lose a game or two because of that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because he could never be wrong, man. And if he admitted to being wrong, I mean, he would get fired on the spot. His whole life would fall apart. So, you know, Iggy, one one thing I've noticed is you're critical of the 49ers. I know. They're such a good team. They have success every year. It's not fair. Why why do I look for the the negativity? (laughs) Do you think Kyle likes you? Not particularly. No, I don't think so. (laughs) No. 